Hello and welcome to Sangeetha Sravanti. Today we feature an artist of exceptional talent in an instrument which is so very common in the West but very rare in the realm of Indian classical music. Saxophone and Sri Kadri Gopal Nath. Their name is so synonymous and inseparable. We are very honored to have with us today Asthana Vidwan of Kanchi Kamakoti Peetam and Sringeri Sharada Peetam, Sri Kardri Gopalanath. Welcome to our program, sir. Thank you. To start with, could you tell us how you took up to saxophone, an instrument which is so uncommon or which was so uncommon to Indian classical music, but you have popularized it a lot? Yeah. My, I came, I came from a musician's family. My father and my mother, they are both musicians. Mm -hmm. So, when I was 15 years old, it was 1965, we went to Mysore Palace mm -hmm. and there are big bands that are running by the, the palace band set. There one person, he was playing the saxophone. After seeing this instrument, I become so long of this instrument. I have to learn, I have to play, I have to adhere to the instrument to my great music. So, that's why I took this instrument. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is the speciality of this instrument? Especially, this instrument is, you know, uh, especially for our music, you know, the the bass, it will be very effective for, no? particularly this instrument, I like the bass octave, uh -huh. um, it will touch to the heart, right. uh, when you play exactly the range and the, uh, really the melody. Mm -hmm. So then uh, the, the main thing is we have instruments like violin, Sorry, the Pluto, Nadeswaram, Movina, whatever it is, the, right. the, 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 the melody like female voice equal to that the scale. Uh -huh. so, so when I hearing this instrument, uh, I like this instrument is very similar to male voice. Yes. So that's why I love this instrument. Mm -hmm. Do you have to do anything different with it to play our kind of music? because it's so typical a Western instrument. Yes, there are, uh -huh. but not more because, you know, the particularly 90% is all the saxophone is same, but especially I innovated something, uh, the pads, okay. which the other saxophones, they have that the pads is flat. Uh -huh. I made it a little tummy, which okay. is helpful because our instrument, our music style is uh, maybe the violinist, vocalist, sorry, the vena um, player, another sort player, they are all, we are all following the vocal style. Right. So we have to play like singing style, mm -hmm. you know, vocal style. Yes. So there are the compositions most, you know, blending, like the melody. Um, um, na, like that is going, you know. We also know uh, that you're a good singer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but of course. Um, this must be how to play that. Otherwise, the vocalist, the other music critics, or our people, they won't allow. Mm -hmm. we have to, first, we have to check whether this is suitable for our style. The saxophone was particularly for that. Very suitable instrument for our Indian classical music. Mm -hmm. So I made it, uh, what I adapted for, innovated for uh, my things, that is the pads and the strings, very smooth strings, um, and the pads, little bit chummy, because okay. it's closing. I can play very, you know, kind of the blending, not no, like that, you know, right. only the practical mouth and this finger. Uh -huh. uh, this helping. This is my adopted uh, innovation. And uh, especially when I took this instrument, it was too hard uh -huh. to blend. I remove all the strings, especially what they have to keep here. Right. Then I add some rubber band, you know, rubber band uh -huh. to make <laughs> okay. making the very smooth and uh, which is very helpful to blend like that. Mm, like that. The keys, once you press, it will go to the bottom. Uh -huh. I, I need to play sometime one third, sometime very quarter, you know, yeah. some do very close, not full close, yeah. some very little close, mm -hmm. but not close. So it's help a lot of, and I found exactly the string nowadays, exactly some gauge, uh -huh. now it's working well. And this is my 
Anna Vishnu. Yeah. Great. Uh, I'm sure the audience is really delighted to know about that. Uh, you've also extensively toured many countries and have participated in international jazz festivals. Mm -hmm. uh, could you tell us your experiences with Western musicians? Yes, the music was, if I like to say a few words, music is universal. Yeah. Music may not for anything except the enjoy, you know, mm -hmm. this kind of uh, only for happy, you know, music. So when I made it was in 1980 in Bombay. I played one great uh, festival called Jazz India. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was playing on the in the concert, one Mr. John Henry from California. Mm -hmm. He came pro for the Jazz uh, festival. Okay. Uh, the same night he was he, he was going to he prepared to play the concert with uh, his own group. Mm -hmm. And I'm not, immediately on the concert time he came and he requested to play. Can I join you? I will play with you. Then he said, okay, come, please. Mm -hmm. Then we played some melody, if I'm right. You know, a little bit of uh, Indian classical music. Uh -huh. So we played one melody. That was the Behag Tilana. Okay. And the audience becomes so, you know, this what, east, west, something. Right. A fusion, you know. Then uh, immediately night we played uh, the same uh, person, you know, same uh -huh. festival. Yeah. Uh, where I composed some melody from our 72 Melakarta, Rasik, uh, uh -huh. um, you know, Ranjini. Right. So, Rasik Priya. Uh -huh. So, it was very similar to that uh, Western jazz blue, you know. Uh -huh. So, that gentleman, the great saxophonist told me, Oh, what a guy, this is something blue, you know. Then, I enjoyed it a lot. Then, we, uh, again, we met in Germany, Berlin Jazz Festival, 83. Oh. We again played some. So I enjoy a lot because my aim also, we have to get together the musicians all yes. over the world. Mm -hmm. The music is for happy, no? Yes. So we can, music, music is universal. There is no religious, no border, no right. nothing. And also it is so yeah. good because mm. our music is being, through you, I mean yeah. it's being popularized in so many other countries which is yeah, very good. Yeah, 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 yeah. They like very much. Especially our Indian classical, classical music made for the, the meditation, you know, kind yes. of meditation. Mm -hmm. But what I, my thing is, we have to get together, we have to play something, we have to present something, we have a lot of things to may mixing with the other music, you know. Yeah. In the same context, music has brought so much name and fame to you. Mm -hmm. uh, are you trying to do anything to promote the cause of music? Yes, no, I am, I am, especially I am writing about uh, my theory about the saxophone. Okay. How to play Indian classical music, especially how to blend, uh -huh. you know, for the future uh, students. Right. And my my future things also to calling some saxophonist in the great country mm -hmm. and sitting together and uh, discussing with the what we can do, what right. I can present from my country, yes. what you can from your great music. So sit together and work it, and we can present something to the audience, great things, you know. Yeah, that's really nice. Mm. Yeah. Um, one last question. We have recently heard your melodi melodious saxophone in the film Duet. Mm -hmm. And uh, could you tell us your experiences in yes. the film field? Yeah, that is the, the credit is going to my great uh, well wisher K. Balachandar, one of famous uh, film director. Right. He, he was he is very fan about this instrument particularly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so many cases of mine. So I was on the concert mm -hmm. during uh, 93 something uh, some, something like that. So he came to concert, he told me next day he rang up me and told Kadri I am going to make a movie. Okay. Especially about the saxophone. The okay. hero's character yes. is a saxophone. Right. Saxophonist. Yeah. So can you uh, play for that? Mm -hmm. I said, okay sir, I don't mind. But will be the character good, you know? Yes. He said, don't worry about it. This is nice because I have to make this instrument even the medium class also. Because the classical music, music not, uh, is not reaching to everybody, oh, yes. only some class people, you know. Yes. So I said, okay, I accept it. Then uh, Mr. Rahmani, one of the great uh, music, uh, music director, yeah. he was my close friend. He invited me, Kadri, can you come to my studio? Okay, send the car. I went there. Mm -hmm. So they discussed about that, uh, what uh, we can play, what I can play. Because I am totally, I am a very typical classical artist, you know. Okay. I don't know anything film. 
things. But I know, um, I told, play some ragas. I told what situations, the sequence, I, maybe the sad or happiness. He told, this is the happiness and the sad will be there. Can you find some raga? And I played, played more than 50 ragas, I played melody. So then last he found that the Kalyan of Santa. Okay. Yeah, that was the title music I yes. played. That is my own creation. Then there was some other raga. And I played nearly four or five songs for that uh, movie. The, my, they were so happy. He was very understood. That was understanding. It, it was so easy to, you know, what he taught me to yes. play like that, like that, like that. Okay. It was so, it was not too hard for me because... I'm sure it won't be mm. hard for you at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's been such a pleasure talking to you. And from all of us, uh, I thank you a lot. Thank and you. And it's been a privilege talking to thank you. Thank you.